Hello friends, today we are going to learn about SINA's Comprehensive Anxiety Test developed by SINA and SINA. Let's start. This test is a self-report measure developed by AKP SINA and LNK SINA in 1995. When they reviewed the variety of anxiety tests that were available at that point of time both foreign and Indian, they found that a number of anxiety indices were missing from those tests. So with the view of developing a very comprehensive anxiety test which would have all the anxiety indices, they developed this test especially for the Indian population. How this test was developed? First and foremost, 315 items were developed which were part of this test. And these 315 items were constructed on the basis of symptoms of the anxiety as reported by those who visited the Institute of Psychological Research and Surveys, Patna University. These were college students who used to come here for counselling and the symptoms that they presented for anxiety, these were turned into the items for the test. After this, these 315 items were given to 5 experts to validate and on their suggestion, 70 questions were dropped leaving 245 questions in all. Now these 245 questions were you know, tested in a pilot study done on 100 college students and after that once the results were collated, the 90 most significant items were made part of the final test. Have a look, this is the inventory, this is the test that we have, administration of this test. First and foremost, is the step of rapper formation. So make your subject sit comfortably. Strike a friendly conversation by asking about his schooling, his parents, his interests, family, etc. so that he is at ease. Once your subject is at ease, ask him if he is ready for taking the test. If he gives an affirmative answer, then you can start by handing over the test to him and giving the instructions for the test. That should be the next step. Before that, let's see a small video about how rapper formation is done. Hi Ria, how are you? Hello, I'm good. What about you? I'm perfectly fine. So tell me, how is it going, all this pandemic situation, everything in your life? How are you coping up with it? Everything is going great. We are taking all the necessary precautions and our family are also taking those precautions and uh, we are doing great. So how are your classes going on, everything, the virtual classes nowadays? Virtual classes are very entertaining and we are learning so many new things from those classes and our teachers are so supportive and they are guiding us in a proper track so that we can do wonders in future. So that's so perfect. I hope everything goes fine and we can overcome all the pandemic situation and we'll do good in our life and we'll go back to the normal state. So what are your views on this pandemic situation? It's like uh, everyone should uh, be a good participant in this and everyone should follow all the rules and precautions so that we should not spread this virus as it is spreading nowadays. So we should take necessary precautions like we should clean our hands regularly, we should follow social distancing, we should wear masks when we are going out. So these are the simple things when which one should follow. Oh, that's so nice. I like the positive spirit you are keeping it. So now are you ready to give the test? Yes, definitely. Yeah, so we'll go on with that. Thank you. Thank you. Formation is done. Once the DAPO formation is done and you have handed over the uh, test to your client, to your subject, the following instructions are to be given. Some statements are given in the next pages and they are concerned with your behavior and temperament. In each item, there are two options, yes or no. Read the questions carefully and put a X in front of the option that suits you the best. Don't hesitate in answering. Your replies will be kept confidential. There are no right or wrong answers. When in doubt, give the best possible answer. There is no time limit for this test, but usually people finish it in 15 minutes. One thing that needs to be noted here is 
that we are not going to tell our subject the actual reason of conducting the test. You are not going to say to your client or your subject that this is a test of testing your insight. Here is the sheet for the same. The instructions for the same are some statements are given in the next page. These questions are concerned on your behavior and temperament. Against each statement, there is a two alternative response provided, which are yes and a no. You have to answer each of your questions by putting a cross with the cell below the responses of yes and no. Please reply to all the statements without any hesitation as your responses will be kept confidential. Although there is no time limit, but still be quick to answer. Thank you saw how the instructions have to be given. Now let's see what do we do after the subject has finished the test. The sequence of the uh, testing procedure is that the first one you form a rapport, second you administer the test, number three you take an introspection report from your subject as to how he felt uh, while doing the test. And the last part would be scoring and interpretation. So let's see a video on introspection report before we move on to scoring and interpretation. The last comprehensive anxiety test has been performed. Now my subject will give the introspection report for the same. Uh, the test was quite insightful and I enjoyed it. And even I could relate to the questions which were mentioned in the test. And thank you so much for making me comfortable while attending this test. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Okay, now let's talk about scoring. Scoring is very, very simple. Here, every yes is given one mark and every no is given zero. And after we have marked the questions, all 90 questions, we total up all the yeses, that means all the ones, and that would give us the raw score for this test. Let's have a look at the norms. Uh, basically, the norms for this test were developed on a sample size of 400, 200 boys and 200 girls. These were college going students and separate norms for both boys and girls are available. Raw score, we need to convert into percentiles and once it is converted into percentile, we will interpret it accordingly. There are five categories of anxiety levels that have been given and norms for boys and girls are different. Let's take an example. Say the raw score is 26. Now 26 is more than 23 which is P60 percentile 60 and it is less than 28 which is P70. So the person will fall under P70 which is percentile 70, 70th percentile. That means this person is suffering from high anxiety. The norms for girls will be taken up and the raw scores will be converted into percentiles and interpreted accordingly. One thing that needs to be taken into account is that these interpretations are just reference points and this test has been developed in Patna on college students. In case you are going to use this test on a large scale, then it is better that you develop your own norms based on your own population. Last is the interpretation as suggested by the author Sina and Sina. If someone scores above 75th percentile, that would be a hyper anxious individual with complicated personality and may be in need of counseling and psychotherapy. If someone scores between 25th to 75th percentile, these are normal individuals. And if someone scores below 25th percentile, it would indicate that the person is unmotivated and is sluggish person this and being here in case you want us to do any other practical do let me know i will definitely make a video on that else please come here again to watch the other videos on the theory part of 12 standard which shall be coming in here very very soon thank you so much